Hi, everybody. Thanks for uh, allowing me to be part of this forum today. So I do want to tell you a bit about the International Public Safety Data Institute. I am a, a doctor of public health and a data scientist, but also the founder and CEO of IPSDI. And IPSDI is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was stood up as a research and, and data policy um, organization. We have been developed to enhance public safety resources in the area of operations so that they have more real-time data to make actionable life-saving insights. Our team has over 200 years of research in the fire service, developers, leaders, uh, data scientists. And so we are excited to be a part of a presentation with you today. So what's the problem that we are solving or attempting to solve? The fact is that firefighters and emergency services are massing data with everything they do from incident data to their operations on scene, the performance metrics that can be gathered there also with exposures to all of the responders, just like is happening even now in Surfside, Florida, which I'm sure all of you have watched as hundreds of responders have been there digging through that pile. All of them are being exposed in the moment. The operation itself has oversight and is amassing data in every moment. The problem is, is that though there is data Everywhere within the fire and emergency services, there's very little information from that data. In other words, we have a great problem in analytics in this space. The other thing I mentioned is firefighter exposures that are taking place literally with every call that they make, whether it's a fire, an EMS incident, emergency medical services incident, everything from COVID to hazardous materials. Everywhere they are being exposed in spite of wearing Perform, uh, personal protective gear, uh, we call PPE. So in spite of that, exposures are taking place. And so we have to do better in addressing these problems. And so with that, uh, we have developed solutions. The IPSDI in itself assembles, analyzes, and reports information using our data tools. So we have a big data tool that I'm going to tell you about where we have amassed enormous amounts of information that can be mined by local fire departments. We've also developed data tools for analysis and exposure tracking that I'd like to share with you today. We're gonna to start with our N4s or our National Fire Operations Reporting System. This reporting system ingests data directly from computer-aided dispatch systems or records management systems and provides that data, uh, putting it through heavy analytic algorithms and then provides that back to the local users with operational insights about their response capability, uh, their assets for response, their staffing deployment models. We also give these live interactive dashboards the capability for mining data. In other words, not just seeing it in the moment, being able to drill down, whether you're a data analyst or not, you are able to drill down. So we literally have fire chiefs that are able to not only build their own interactive dashboards, but then mine them for intelligence, whether it's for apparatus relocation or a new station location within the community, addressing policy, budgets. So this is the way that we're able to help them gain information from the data that they are amassing on a moment by moment basis. Not the least of which is we try to help them address adequate capability to respond in their risk environment. In other words, if fire departments, fire and EMS departments, if they respond sufficiently with adequate equipment, adequate staffing, and they are assembled in a timely manner, then they are far less vulnerable for firefighter injury and death, civilian injury and death and property loss. And so matching resources to risk or the risk event to which they're responding is key. And so having those insights and helping them find those vulnerabilities in their system is part of what we do. The second piece I'll tell you about is our NFORS or National Fire Operations Reporting System Exposure Tracker mobile app. So as I mentioned to you, firefighter exposures are a huge deal. More than 67% of the firefighters who die from job-related illness, it's cancer. And so this is a problem from their exposures. We saw it with the deaths occurring after 9-11 exposures, where we still have firefighters who are dying from their exposures. The latency period of cancers makes it hard for us to track those exposures, linking them to disease. 
The same thing is happening with our COVID and our long haul COVID exposures for these responders and much, much more. And so we need to have secure environments for them to track their exposures on a call by call basis. And that's what this mobile app does. They are able to download the app. It works in both iOS and Android platforms. It is free for download for them. And it connects to that analytics module that I just shared with you. And so firefighters are not great at data entry. And so we try to reduce that burden for them. If they connect or their department connects with Enforce Analytics, then we're able to provide them an incident access code that they load into their app that connects them directly with their responses when they are dispatched. And so as soon as that call closes in their computer dispatch system, it will automatically load in the app on their phone. So now they just simply open it up and track their exposures in real time. The last thing I'll share with you is the, uh, what we call our fire care system, which means community assessment response evaluation system. Now, FireCares is a big data system, and we all are familiar with the big data terminology. But what we have done is amass enormous amounts of information far beyond the incidents that fire departments respond to. What we are talking about is parcel information, building environment, or the built environment that's been hazard coded for low, medium, and high hazard. We have census data, social vulnerability index data. Uh, historic fire responses, historic EMS responses, GIS capability, and many, many other functionalities within this system where they can do data mining, they can run GIS from each station so they can look at four, six, and eight minute response capabilities. They can look at how they can amass what we call an effective response force capability in different areas of their jurisdictions. Because as I said to you early, if we match well the resources that are deployed to emergency events, if we match well that event from a risk perspective, then we're far less vulnerable for firefighter injury and death, civilian injury and death and property loss. And so that's the key for fire cares. It assesses their risk environment, provides them risk scores for low, medium and high hazard environments and fire risk overall. Then it assesses how well they respond historically to these events and assigns them assessing how well those two things are matched and assigns them a safe grade. With that, this big data analytic system has many, many more uh, functionalities. And I will say that every fire department in the US has a fire cares page with this data loaded for them. That's career volunteer combination. Every fire department has it. What's the plus for even the federal sector? In this system, we are amassing not just local resources for those local fire departments, but imagine the data that's being amassed for use at look, looking at asset deployment capability, assets that exist, fire station locations, uh, what rides out of each station, its crew sizes, all of these things that can be used for deployment in many, many other scenarios. So with that, uh, I would be open to any questions, of course, our contact information, our website is there, and we are certainly grateful to be part of the GovShop and Public Spin Forum Shatter Fund program. So thank you so much for the time to be able to talk with you about this today.